five, four, three, two, one. So we're here at the Freddy Conference 2023. We're very excited to share with you all the things that Bethel Production has going on. We have uh, eight different cameras that we're running. Because there's so many cameras and so many incredibly talented cam ops, we've been able to capture them really well. So we've been going around and chatting with people, getting some great testimonies. I, I came from Singapore and um, it has been an amazing experience that I, I, can't, I can't describe and I highly recommend it to anyone else. And I slept probably the deepest that I've ever slept before in my life. And I woke up actually rested. And I felt like things had changed inside, like things had just started shifting. I work at a church in Chicago, but to remind me that he is Father and he is Lord and he is um, all of that over my life. And so as I'm here, it's been amazing and yeah. So what's, what's going on? We're here at the last night of the prophetic conference. We're getting ready to start worshiping the next like 40-ish minutes. We have this nice skateboard thing that the camera's on and we have it rigged to it. Flyer lights, so we have a monitor, and then we have a Komodo with the 70 to 200 lens. So having this gets you a really nice wide of their fan that can just kind of slowly fan and parallax with the speaker, which looks really cool. Most of our downtime, if we're not just like tired and drinking coffee, it's playing games. So like Dutch Blitz is really good. Smash, Mario Kart, everyone's very competitive and it's like good quick games in between breaks. So I'm I love that, that's okay. perfect. <laughs> Great, thank you. Today on The Runner Show, we have our online connect in the beautiful, um, if you pan to the right here, this beautiful pink sherbet. Um, themed set that uh, we're very inspired about. Typically for Backstage Pass, it's pretty standard, just one light, you see the stage. But with this room, we were given some assets from our creative team, uh, like colors, and um, that they gave us. And if you look, it kind of naturally starts darker and gets lighter, which is kind of a natural gradient, which I thought was cool. Um, but I'm stoked with how it looks. What's your favorite part about putting it together? My favorite part about putting it together was it being dropped on us with a day's notice. Is that true? Yeah. Having to make something out of nothing, but make it interesting and entertaining, and I'm pretty happy with how it came out. So online connects are cool. You know, we work really hard to not just throw up a BTS feel, but actually to create a scene or a mood. Um, I think for us, it's just a creative outlet, uh, but it's also setting the stage and like uh, creating a brand. And we kind of, we like that creative expression to do something different. Uh, we're trying to create an intimate gathering or an intimate place where we're connecting intentionally with our online guests. We actually want to make a heartfelt connection. All right, so one of the things cool about this year is we have more Komodos than we've ever had before. Um, originally, we only purchased three. And we've inched our way along and we're actually up to six Komodos now. And we've almost phased out all of our Blackmagic cameras. We currently only have one Ursa Broadcast, which has a uh, V4 uh, broadcast lens on it for our iMag and for follow. The idea that we are creating images that portray revival. And so for me, this week I've been seeing images come up uh, on camera, on the screens, and I'm like, I'm connecting with past history, past events, or these moments that were, um, I'd say anchors, or just defining moments in our journey as, as a house of, from where we were, where we just believed in just the little, the little bit of faith of God could do it, and now we're expecting that he's gonna do it now and do it again and do it more. And so um, it's amazing and, and an honor to, to be able to say that we're actually purposely crafting an image that is portraying actual images of revival um, for future generations. I'm really pumped about that.